This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Engine oil and filter change. Open the door and pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch to the left, then raise the hood upwards. Working in the engine compartment, unscrew the oil filter cap by turning it counterclockwise with a wrench. Remove the filter cap and filter element. Make sure that none of the old O-rings remain stuck to the housing surface. Using a clean rag saturated in brake cleaner, wipe off the filter housing surface. Remove the O-rings from the filter cap Then clean the cap and the O-ring recesses from any sludge or debris. Install new O-rings onto the filter cap and lubricate them with a light film of clean engine oil. Install the filter element onto the cap. Install the filter assembly into the engine, screwing it in place until it's seated. Tighten the filter cap to the specified torque setting. If more ground clearance is needed, apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Place a floor jack under the frame rail, raise the front of the truck, then support it with a jack stand placed under the frame rail in front of the floor jack. Remove the engine rear undershield. Make sure the vehicle is on level ground. Being careful not to touch the hot exhaust components, Position a drain pan under the engine oil drain plug. Clean the area around the plug, then remove it by turning it counterclockwise by hand and pulling it straight out. Wearing protective gloves is highly recommended. Remove the oil filler cap from the valve cover to allow the oil to flow out more easily. Allow the old oil to drain into the pan. Once the oil has completely drained, Clean the drain plug and lubricate the O-ring on the plug with a light film of clean oil. Also clean the opening on the oil pan. Confirming that the O-ring is in satisfactory condition, reinstall the drain plug and turn it clockwise by hand until the locking tabs are engaged. Remove all tools and materials from under the vehicle, being careful not to spill the oil in the drain pan. Install the engine rear splash shield tightening the fastener securely. Lower the front of the truck to the ground. Release the handbrake. Using a funnel to prevent spills, initially pour five quarts of the correct type of fresh oil into the engine. Then wait a few minutes to allow the oil to drain into the pan. Pull out the oil dipstick and wipe all of the oil away from the end of the dipstick with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube until it seats completely, then pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. Once the oil level is between the min and max marks, fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap hand tight. Start the engine and allow the new oil to circulate. Allow the engine to idle for about a minute. While the engine is running, look under the vehicle and check for leaks at the oil pan drain plug 
and around the oil filter in the engine compartment. If either one is leaking, stop the engine and tighten the plug or filter until it is secure. Turn the engine off and wait a few minutes. With the new oil circulated and the filter now completely full, recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil as necessary to bring the level up to the max mark. Fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it securely by hand. Oil Change Oil Life Indicator Reset